Hey guys, Jamie Insights here. This podcast is for everyone that's of love, light, healing, peace, results, people that need a little motivation, people are just curious. This podcast is for you and people that are lost because at one point I was lost. Someone was a spark for me and I'm going to be the spark for you always. So today's podcast is going to be about whoever controls you. Whoever angers you controls you. Whoever angers you controls you. And why I say that is because anger anger is an emotion that's unscattered. When you're angry, you could do anything and everything that you didn't think that you would do while being in a calm state. You become aggressive. You become like a bull, just wilding out. Always on the go, ready to be aggressive, ready to hurt somebody. So whoever angers you, controls you. Don't let anyone have your power to be angry of. You know, things are happening for you, not to you. Remember that. Remember you are always the storyteller. Remember that you create your reality. Remember that you have control of your emotions. I used to always feel angry by anything and everything somebody do. I felt like they were trying to hurt me. But you know what? Now I feel like, you know what? This is just going to make me become a better and stronger person. This situation is going to make me become a better and stronger person. I'm not going to let them get to me. Yeah, because they want to see me mad and angry. They're doing it because they want to see me. They feed off of your energy. People feed off your, your energy on your bad energy whether you like it or not whether they even know it or not they feed off of your bad energy because that's why they do the bad stuff they do stupid stuff and you know what you create your reality you don't have to give them the power and you don't have to let them in your life because of that too because you know That they are trying to make you angry. So you stay away from them. You create your reality by having a peaceful state of mind. Always going outside. So in Florida here, it's been raining a lot. So what you can do, I do this little sound healing. I do sound healing. I do instant time. I do visualization time, affirmation time. You could do all of those things. Search of sound healing on your phone. Get to know what that is. You can heal yourself by sign, by sound, because we are music, we are frequencies. That's why we always beeping to the song, we're vibing to the song. That's why we get so in the zone when we're listening to the music, like we're in another dimension, because we are. (laughs) Because we are sound, we are frequencies, we are music. And because everything is made of frequency, which is in the music. So, learn about sound healing. Heal yourself through sound. Sound healing, but getting me through my situation over here, it's been getting me through. It's been getting me through life. Sound healing is the blessing. It is a blessing. And my affirmation, affirming my reality, visualization, knowing my worth, definitely. You got to do that. You got to be about that. But don't let anyone control you. Don't let anyone anger you. Take a deep breath when you feel that somebody is trying to anger you. Take a deep breath. Keep doing as many rounds and as many rounds as you can. And after that, you focus on something that elevates you. Focus on your goals. Focus on your dreams. Focus on your better life that you are creating. Taking the action towards that. Focus on yourself. Because we need to focus within. What's within, what's without. Because... Guess what? The person that's trying to anger you, they have no life of themselves. They worried about other people. They not being about the bag. Nine out of ten, they not successful at all. They're not. You cannot be successful if you're worried about everything that's going wrong with somebody else. Anything that they're gonna do wrong to you, you're not. You're not gonna be able to manifest. If you're always worried about somebody else, you're not going to be able to manifest. No, 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 no. You're not. You're not. Because you're so focused on every everyone else, you're going to have their reality, their outcome, not your own. And 10 out of 10, you're not going to start your goals and your dreams or you're not going to work as many 
hours as you can with your dream and goal because you're so focused on other people, man. You got to stop. We live in a society that they say we need to focus on others. No, we need to focus on ourselves first. You focus on yourself first, then you could be loved to others. Then you could start to help others and elevate others. It's always within. It's always within. First within, then without. People trying to give you advice that's not even right within. They got not right. They're eating all the wrong things. Deeply programmed. They laugh because I say maybe the food is human flesh. I'm not the only one that think like this. This is it's a godly, it's a godly comment. Everything is of God, man. This this comment came from God. This comment came from the universe, man. <laughs> it did. Everything is of God, like I said. So, yeah, we have to question it. We have to question what you're eating. Like I said, my throat was killing me so many days, so many times. My throat was hurting. Couldn't breathe. I was on the train. Heading to the matrix work. That's when the time when I was doing matrix work. I was heading on the train and stuff. Feeling sick. Couldn't breathe. I kept drinking water. Cough drops. I healed myself through fruits. That's the only thing that healed me was the fruits. It's because that's my frequency too. Your body wants to repair itself. They think there's uncurable cancer, but cancer is just dead cells. Cells that needs repairing. Everything is made of your cells. It's because of what you've been eating. That's what cancer has been formed from. And they don't want to tell you. They let you do chemotherapy, all these therapy, radiation, using your hair. All those things could be avoided. But they're just having the shortest, quickest way out. But anyway, whoever angers you, control you. And don't ever, ever, ever give anyone your power. Don't ever give anyone your power to control your narrative, to control your story. Write your own story. And I say, stay away from them entirely. I stay away from people that angers me, that tries to anger me at least. Tries. Attempt. Attempt. I'm a stronger person now. I used to let everybody anger me, get to me. No. If I let everybody get to me, I would not be doing this podcast. <laughs> I would not. I would not. I see that things are happening for me and not against me. And I see... That I'm going to have a lot of bunch of haters. So let me get used to it. <laughs> Whoever angers you controls you. Don't let anyone anger you. Don't let anyone anger you. If you didn't get anything out of this message. Don't let anyone anger you. Don't let anyone get to you. Don't let anyone take your power. Because when you let them anger you. They now have your power. Their energy. They have your mind. They have, they have your gut because in a society, we eat, too, on our emotions. When we're feeling sad, angry, we're not supposed to be eating the, during those times. We need to take the time to breathe, to recenter ourselves so we can eat of life. And that's how they get to us, too. When we're angry or sad, we go for ice cream, the dairy from cows. Did that cow give us permission to do that? No. God said to rule over the animal, not to rule them by destroying them and taking their body parts for food. No, God did not tell us to do that. No, no, no. If you believe in so-called animal, let's, let's go off that. God did not tell us to take their body parts and to eat it. So make sure you are knowing what's in your food. Know what's in your food. You know what's in your food, then you know what's in your gut. People can't give you advice when their gut isn't clean. My gut is clean. I always strive to eat raw, to eat raw food, and to do less cooking. Because raw fruits and raw veggies are in my body frequency. It's what my body needs. It's what my body resonates with. You have to go within and ask yourself the question, what do my body resonate? And if if it's not good, you're not supposed to be eating it. 
You're not supposed to. Don't let anyone control you. Don't let anyone take your power. This is it. Thank you guys for listening.